Mike, thanks for speaking to us. Um, frustrating result then to end a difficult week for Swan City Football Club, really. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a defeat today, but I think... Uh, from, from here we look forward and don't look back. Okay. Well, you stood up well to being captain today in the absence of Leroy Fur, your Dutch colleague. Um, you're obviously happy that he's staying at the club. Do you know why he, um, he, he, he decides to stay right at the end of the transfer window? Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's a question for you. I think uh, I'm really happy that he's here. He's a good friend of mine and, mm. and a great player for, for our team. So that's, uh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, you've been outstanding in this season's championship, that's for sure, anyway. And, um, you know, you said recently you've got ambitions. Um, you're out of contract at the end of the season. I just wondered what exactly were your playing ambitions? What uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just starting to, you know, number things up in my head. Uh, what, what I want to do. Uh, I had an option contract, so it's not, it's not really that I'm transfer free. The club has to decide uh, if they activate that option. Um, so it's up to them um, and we're in talks of uh, maybe a, a new contract so yeah it's a lot of things that I that, that's in my mind but um, I just have to decide and you know um, <coughs> I, have, I have to know what what Swansea wants um, in, the, in the future uh, I have to know what I want and that's that's have to uh, how I decide my my future okay well, um, let's let's talk more about the switch that you made from Dutch to English football, and yeah. how did you find that at first? Uh, of course, difficult. Uh, I mean, different and ah. difficult. <laughs> uh, different and difficult because you know it's, uh, it's it's a different different approach to a game. I think uh, it's it's so much more physical than than than, uh, than in Holland. I think in Holland it's more uh, football based, and here you have teams like who can play. Uh, long balls and, and fight for for every every ball. You got big 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 strikers against you, and then you have to be ready for that. Um, so, but some teams uh, play really good football as well. You see today Bristol they play they play good football. Uh, I think it's a typical English team, but they play really good football as well. So yeah um, yeah you have you have like different kinds of uh, uh, different different types of football in in England, and that's that's what makes it the. The most competitive leagues in, uh, in the world. Okay, let's be a bit silly here. If you were going to put Swansea City in the Eredivisie, where do you think they'd be? Where do you think they'd be competing? I think we, you know, the top top three is maybe a bit um, too far now. But I think, you know, uh, I think we really can compete for um, fourth, maybe third place. That just shows the quality of a championship. I yeah. think and yeah. that is that is quite yeah. outstanding. That you know, you compare this level. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I just wanted to know who, who's the best manager that you think you've worked under in your, in your career so far? Um, yeah, it's always a difficult one because if you play, you, you find him the best in it. So, so that's, that's, that's a difficult, but uh, I've been with um, uh, Jan Wouters and Robbie Alfa. That was, for me, was, was really good because I've, I've learned a lot from them. They were really busy with me. Um, so yeah, that's that was good. Um, then I went to Ajax for mid, with Frank de Boer for three years. Uh, I think a really good good coach as well. Uh, learned a lot from him, uh, especially tactically, uh, mindset of games. So that that's that was really good as well. And then you know in <laughs> Swansea he had a lot of managers, but uh, Paul Clement was was really like uh, defending wise was really good. How to shape up and make it compact. And I think from uh, Carlos uh, Carvajal is uh, is Portuguese. He's more, uh, you know, he's he's he's, he's very uh, how do you say that hyper. I think, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's that's and that's that's good as well because you know I'm more relaxed, but sometimes you need more mm. more power in you that's too. Yeah, and uh, yeah, now now it's Graham Graham Potter, mm. uh, and I learn a lot from him as well because this is more back to to where I was in Holland. So really interesting. Interesting, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you played a fair bit for the Netherlands under 21s. Is the Dutch national team something you think about? You were called up before. Um, not, not, not at the moment because I think I still need to do a lot to be there. Um, you know, and you play in a championship now, so it's it's hard. And and to be fair, we have like really good defenders now in a, in the Dutch team. I think mm -hmm. uh, one of the best now in the world. Yeah, sure. Uh, and the best uh, upcoming talent as well in the world, and you know he he had the prize as well, Golden Boy. So 
Yeah. No, it's, it's hard now for a defender from Holland to, to get in the team. Yeah. Finally, Mike, um, you're confident in reaching the playoffs this season? Um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be challenging, but I think it's still still not over. So it's, it's still 17 games, something like that, 16. So it's it's still still there, and uh, we don't give up. Okay. What happens to you then if the Swansea don't go up this season? Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> what I said. Like uh, my future, I can't I can't I can't see my future, but uh, we will see. I think uh, first I have to decide uh, about my contracts, uh, and then we will see. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.